Hello, and congratulations on your new Hubble purchase. Today, we will be showing you how to install a connector from Hubble's newest watertight line. Before you start, it's essential that you disconnect the power before installation. Be sure also only to use copper conductors. In your bag, you will find various sizes of gotcha rings, rubber bushings, and cone seals. You will also find an insert, a nut, and a rubber housing with a closure cap. For your reference, an instruction sheet is included with your device. The tools needed include wire jacket strippers, a torque Phillips screwdriver, and wire strippers. For this application, we'll be using a 12 gauge wire with a 30 amp, 250 volt, 3 wire connector. It is important that you do not pre-strip the core jacket or conductors before assembly. Based on the cord type and diameter, select the appropriate gotcha ring, rubber bushing, and cone seal. Refer to the chart in the instructions for sizing information. The gotcha ring provides strain relief. The rubber bushing also provides strain relief and some sealing around the cable. And the cone seal prevents water and debris from entering the back of the device. Assemble the closure cap into the recessed groove of the rubber housing by feeding the cap's loop over the housing's threaded end. Set this aside. Next, fully seat the cone seal onto the nut by inserting it into the back end of the nut. Feed approximately 12 inches of the cord through the attached cone seal and out the threaded end of the nut. Ensure that the cone seal is fully seated in the nut. Attach the gotcha ring onto the cord with the tapered side facing the nut. Next, feed the rubber bushing onto the cord so the end with the larger diameter meets the flat side of the gotcha ring. Insert the cord into the threaded end of the rubber housing so that approximately 6 inches protrudes from the front opening. Once the cord is properly inserted, strip the cord 1 and 1 4 inches. Strip all the conductors half an inch. Twist the leads to eliminate frayed ends. Do not tin the conductors. Ensure that all terminal screws are backed out to their fullest position so that the terminal wire clamp is clear of the wire entrance hole, allowing the conductor leads to pass through unobstructed. Be sure not to use excessive force. Insert the stripped conductors into the individual wiring pockets and tighten each terminal screw as wire is inserted using 15 to 20 inch pounds of torque. The green screw is for the green ground conductor, while the silver screw is for the neutral white conductor if it is present. The brass screw goes into the black conductor. Gently pull on the cable to remove slack and pull the interior closer to the rubber housing opening. Align and push the keyed connector into the rubber housing. Install and tighten the insert assembly screws using 8 to 10 inch pounds of torque. Slide the rubber bushing into the housing. Ensure that the gotcha ring is still in place while carefully sliding all parts toward the rubber housing. The last step is to twist the nut until it fully bottoms out onto the rubber housing. Congratulations! Your watertight device is now installed. Ensure that the gotcha ring, rubber bushing, closure cap, cone seal, nut, and rubber housing fit the wire snugly. When pulled or pushed, make sure the wire does not move. Be wary that the nut is screwed firmly to the rubber housing. Examine the stainless steel screws, as they should all be tightly secured. For more information, please contact Tech Support or visit us at HubbleWiring.com. Thanks for watching.